Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Right on. And this is yours, right? And what's your channel's name? The High Tech Hobo. All right. And if you go to this man's channel soon, I don't know if I can see you, Jimmy. To Wandering Jimmy's, you can get a tour of that. So check it out. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors. Forever free. Okay, we're gonna gonna get a tour here. Let's see. So this is is this a sprinter? I'm not yes. familiar with vans. Yes, this is a sprinter 3500. I'm gonna have to speak up for my peoples here because they won't be able to hear. And you wanna introduce yourself? I'm Hawkwing. I um, have a channel, it's the Boho Nomad. You can find me. But this is my sprinter, it's a 3500. Um, 170 wheelbase. Wow. Enormous. Yeah, let me step back here for just a second. I don't even think I can get the whole thing in. Yeah, that's a big wheel uh, wheelbase there. Wow. And she has told us we could come in and take a look. Oh my gosh, this is the first time I've ever been in one of these vans. How cool is this? Wow. I a lot of work to do on it. When did you start working on this? Um, in July, but I actually got my bed in this box made at the uh, van build party. Okay, so, so this is what you had at the van build? Yep. Right on. And, and that's just a... Opens, and it has wow. my clothes in there. Uh, dirty, clean, and towels. Yeah, right. You know, and then I have a storage area where I put my chest okay wow. then i have a garage in the back a garage and now do you use all this for storage up here just uh, i do and yes. do you have do you have refrigeration or do you just nope, do like just a cooler cool. just cool. wow and then you've got oh you've got a rod just hanging for your clothes mm -hmm. that's cool i usually use um this bungee to keep them from flying everywhere. oh yep my driving. right my mother-in-law had a trailer and she when they would travel she'd put everything in the bathroom and by the time she got somewhere all her clothes would be on the ground so mm. that's good if you bungee them have you had any problem with them coming no, off not at all that's Kay. exactly why right on if i didn't they'd be all over the place and it's just right up on the floor and terrible. right okay yeah. and is this a fantastic fan no that's a max air i max like air. that better because it has the rain sensor and it's automatic like you don't have to worry about getting a new thermostat attached to it you don't have to pay more it's standard okay and then do you have i can see right here is this your water hose that comes that out is. it's running water okay this is my water box i have a pump on the other side oh this is what you had done at the van building yes. and so yeah. your water is in there how much water do you carry in there uh 14 gallons 14 gallons wow mm -hmm. all right yep. And so and can you take a shower water. outside with this or is um, this? No, it's just for running water, dishes, you know. Right I don't on. really drink this, but for dishes. Right. Washing up a little bit. Yeah. Right. Sure. Okay. Cool. And then... <laughs> it's a little windy out here, guys, today. Then I just open this and I have my garage here and it lifts up. Oh yeah, so you've got a lot of storage in here. Right on. Yeah, and that's it. Right on, that's really nice. Yeah, it is, it's really long. Now, how long have you been on the road? Four, buddy. Four. <laughs> you want me to help you get that in there? No, I'm <laughs> It's so windy out here, it. right? Uh, the wind really picked up here. So how long have you been on the road? Uh, for about a year, I've been full time. I've been mostly urban. I do a little boondocking here and there, but it's it's been fun. Yeah, how are you enjoying the RTR? Um, it's cool. I've I know a lot of people here from right. the Van Peel party, so so you don't feel you don't feel out, out no, of, you know no, you've got it's, it's friends fun. to hang with. That's always fun. Yeah, yeah. it's fun because since I know so many people, I and this is my first year. I feel right at home yeah. as opposed to if I hadn't gone. 
you know, it'd be kind of awkward. You yeah, know? I think the van build, and of course we missed it because of our wreck and everything, but I think a lot, the people that came from the van build feel like that, like they already had a sense of community For coming sure. here, so I think that was like great that it went side by side, mm -hmm. so right on. Well, thank you so much, and tell us your channel name one more time. It's the Boho Nomad. Okay. All one word. All one word. Yeah. All right, go check her out, guys. All right, thank you. So you guys remember Stephanie and Mike, they have the turtle. So I have a question that a couple people have asked about how you take care of the turtle. Is it a water turtle? What kind of turtle is it? It's a yellow belly, which is technically an Aquarius turtle, so they are water. But it's like um, they should take as much water intake as they do land intake. Because like if they're in the water too much, look at a soft shell, same with land. So we try to, like he likes to be in the water during the day. So during the day he's in the water. And then at night he doesn't like to be in his tank. Like he'll scratch on the side of his tank until we let him out. He has a personality. Yeah. <laughs> so like at night he just crawls around on the floor and he does his thing. All right. And you've had him for two years, right? Yes. So you, you're very aware of what he needs and and you he know what he has needs. a playpen outside yeah. and right. you've seen in your other video he has a play area to he be outside has all more day space than the both of us he <laughs> actually has a little hamster ball that he can go in and he can roll around outside in and yeah and he has his tank inside yeah. the van so it right on nice. all right well thanks for answering that for our our community out there yeah, right. i appreciate it he has what this a whole little thing. Yeah, let's show Holy you guys a little mold. bit better view of what so he's got going on in his little habitat here. Where is he? Is he in his... He's coming, in his, out. He's coming out. He's where? in his little tank right now. Where? He's inside here, in the, inside the van. Oh, he oh, he's not in here. Van. Okay. So okay, let houses. me... I told you, he's got more space oh, than the rest yeah. of Oh, yeah. You can see that. his little wet feet. You can tell he's oh, in Aquarius. Oh, yeah. Too. Now, what were you saying about the salmonella that you were just telling Scott? Somebody was uh, telling me that he probably has salmonella, and I was like, his parents were farmed animals. He's a farm animal. If he has salmonella in his family, it's probably like great, great, great grandpa. Okay, so you know quite a lot about turtles then. Is we that use a, we use Lysol all over the van all the time, just right? Like you should when you're doing van life. Yeah, you should right. be doing that anyway. And right. just like wash like, your hands before you eat. Yeah, like things. yeah, like common sense. Like right, just you're done playing with it. Just like right. you would do if you had a dog. Absolutely yeah. right. He's yeah. so cute. I know yeah. he oh, really oh, is. Can I hold him? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, hello, little guy. Wow. Yeah. See, he's and, perfect and little get size. Pretty yeah. nice size. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the thing about him is nice is he'll get five to eight inches. So even if he does get like full size, it's still like small. Right. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well thank you. All right. So what did you go when you guys started, were you guys working or what where's what's your background? Actually, we actually met in school. We're both electrical engineers. We were going for the same degree, so all of our classes were the same. So I guess you could say it was like inevitable that we were going to be together. And now we're actually on our second engineering. We're going for general engineering, and then next is physics, and then engineering school, which doesn't sound like a real thing, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's our start. And, uh, a way I know it's a big question is how do we fund our travels? Well, he actually gets a check, and I'll let you start talking. All right, uh, I actually get a military check, and and that allows us to since I go to school, they actually pay my room and board, and this is my room and board. So instead of paying for a college dorm room and her paying for a college dorm room, we chose to live in a van, and we rotate WalMarts and Anytime Fitnesses in the Tampa Bay area for an eight-week class and then we travel for a couple of months and then we come back and take another class and while we're traveling we do our online classes so we kind of just mix it up when we need to take classes at on a campus we stay there and we take all the classes we need and then we'll be gone for a semester and we'll take a bunch of online classes right you guys were doing homework a couple of days ago yeah, and yeah, yeah right people yeah, coming by to, yeah we were doing our Spanish 2 homework right you know it's on the computer so and then another question is the little earbud that you have hanging off of your guys as you both have them what yeah. what are those for a, a lot of places that we go on free bill BLM land and water management land there's no cell phone service so we have actually we have four of these radios 
Um, they pretty much last all day, but just in case you need a spare one in the afternoon, you can just go in there and grab another one. There's always a fresh one. They have about a 30 mile range, anywhere we get 10 miles to 30 miles, depending on your terrain. And the little earbud allows us to put these in our ears so when you're around the campfire at night, it's kind of loud or whatever, I can still talk to her and she can still talk to me. And if we lose ourselves, especially out here at the RTR, and you're trying to walk around and find each other, I can speak to her, she can talk to me right in our ear. And we can, I could actually be from here. She could be at the pilot in Quartzsite and we can talk. Wow, that's a good range. Good little range. And so. that's a good, that's a good, um, tool for people who are traveling together but don't want to have two cell phone bills right and then like today we went into town and we were at the flea market and it's a good uh thing to have when you're also in crowds because when you call somebody in the middle of a crowd that person on the other side of the phone they can't hear a word you're saying right but right here because my mic is right here on my shirt that they could hear it so this is a little tiny mic. And yep. what what brand would, is that? You, did you get them at Costco or have, yeah, just anywhere? Walmart. 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 Cobra radios are fifty nine dollars a p uh, for two, and they're the, the 30, headsets are sold separate. Right. We got those okay. on Amazon. They're about twenty bucks for two of them, and uh, they've lasted a good little while. Right and on. when we convoy also with a group, everyone has a radio. We can communicate mm -hmm. between the group or even at um, at the flea market today we right could communicate all five of us had a radio we could just meet back and yeah people were telling us that we needed to get Absolutely. some of these and it's not on the list yet because of the the extra expense of that computer we had but we're yeah. definitely looking into those it's on the, the list so yeah that you need when you're doing this right time. right it's all the little things you learn as you've been doing it right. more and more and more okay well thank you guys i appreciate it anytime